as well. It's really important to, I, when getting involved in all this, this discussion about pesticides and bees to remember the bigger picture, which is that, that, that pesticides are not the only problem that bees face. They may be the newest problem, um, but bees have, have been in trouble for a long time, in fact. And um, uh, the, the, probably the biggest cause, or certainly historically the biggest cause, is loss of habitat, loss of flowers from the countryside. There aren't anywhere near as many flowers as there used to be. Modern farming doesn't really leave room for much but the crop. Um, so if you're a bee, you need flowers through the season to, to, to feed your offspring and so on. Um, that's bad news. And so most bees, in, in, and we're talking uh, not just in North America, but also in, throughout Europe, there's a general shortage of flowers for them. So they're hungry. They're, they're having to go further and further to find food. Then they've got disease problems that we've created for them by accidentally spreading bee diseases around the planet. Um, so the most famous of those is the Varroa mite, which has been accidentally shipped with honeybees from Asia and is now uh, a problem all over the world for, for honeybees. And the, the European honeybees, which are kept in North America, have very little resistance to Varroa. It transmits viruses from bee to bee, and that's its real impact, is the fact that it, it, it gives bees these diseases. Um, and that, when, when it first arrived, created huge problems for beekeepers. But they kind of just about learned to, to manage Varroa. It's still, still an issue. Um, uh, so we've got, bees are hungry, bees are infected with diseases. Um, I should say there are other, other problems, other non-native diseases apart from the varroa mite that we've transmitted, some of them affecting wild bees as well. Um, and then on top of that, we're exposing them to poisons. Um, and it's the three things together that really seem to be doing the damage. There's a really neat study recently came out of Italy that showed that exposure to low levels of neonicotinoids uh, knocked out part of the immune system of honeybees and therefore allows uh, viruses to replicate more rapidly. So the pesticide exposure and, and the viruses are, are acting kind of synergistically uh, within the bee. So these things don't inter act independently and it's, it's, it's the combination of stresses that we're throwing at bees simultaneously which is pushing them over the edge. They could probably cope with one or two of these things. If they had loads of food they could probably fight off a disease but starve them, infect them with diseases and then poison them. And it's kind of hardly surprising that they're not doing too good.